Lewis Smith here of MMA UK, joined at Cage Wars 104 by a recently victorious Aiden James. Uh, Aiden just got a big victory, a TKO victory out yeah. in Amman Jordan. Yeah. Talk a bit about that, uh, you know, the, the win, how it felt to go abroad and get a win as well. Um, yeah, just I, I love fighting away. Like I love traveling. I've never sold tickets. Like I'm not a ticket seller. So the opportunity to go somewhere else and um, fight is just I, I relish it. And I I told Brave early on. Like I said, like, give me hometown fighters. Like I want booze. I want like people. And I go in. Like I was looking in the tunnel. I got like go men thumbs down. This <laughs> like, so flicking me. And um, I loved it. Like I was, I laughed. Like I I'm. Nervous in the back, but when I put the fight, I'm relaxed, and I was relaxed. And I was soaking all in. You could see me as I walk out. Like I, I generally a good look around. I like took the full moment in, yeah. and um, I, I love booze. Like I, I love anything. I, I just love atmosphere. Like I, I love this. Like I, was, I say to fighters all the time. You, you're a little kid, and you're watching like UFC on TV, and you, you, you want to be in the middle of it all. And then when that opportunity comes around, I don't want to wish it away. Yeah, a lot yeah. of guys are like, oh, I just want to, I just want to get in there. I just want to get in there. I want to fight. I'm like, whoa, slow, slow, slow down. Like, just like, if you get a fight, if you get a chance to get a fight against a hostile crowd, relish it, like absorb it, take the crowd in. And that's why, that's why I felt like I did. Like, and yeah, you got a stoppage as well. Obviously a, a yeah. TKO. What was it like to go there and do the business in, in impressive fashion? Yeah, it was, <laughs> I'm as shocked as anyone else. Like I, he, as he jumped in, I hit him and he just went down. I was uh, like, just jumped on him, just started hitting him, and then like obviously like I'm excited, so I like sprinted out towards like uh, his crowd. They all stormed, they like throw a light at me, like men flicking me and stuff. And um, but they, do you know what? I I've got to say this: the the Jordanian fans are the most supportive people after a fight I've ever worked with. Like they've messaged me non-stop. They've they've sent me photos of like me and them. Um, they've just been brilliant. They've been calling all brave stuff. They like they are behind me now. Like I feel like I I could go out there now and get cheers. But um, yeah, that's like a di different experience and something like I, I'm going to take with me for the rest of my life why I got in Jordan. Yeah. And in terms of the division now, you know, it's a, it's a packed division. Where do you see yourself in that division and what do you want to do next? I know what's next. Like, I, I, know, what's, uh, I, I know what's planned next. I told them soon in the fight, like straight after the fight, I said, don't, don't, I don't want the belt. No. Like, they asked me about it, I said, no, I'm not doing the belt. I'm not stupid. I'm, I'm, I'm 4 0 now. That was my fourth professional fight. Uh, 3 0 were brave. The the current champion's thirteen and two. I'm not saying I don't believe I wouldn't beat him. I, I believe I couldn't beat him. Like, I I do believe that. But like you lose a title fight, you're not just you're not just a step back. You're right back. Yeah. Like you're out of the picture. Do you know what I mean? Um, I want that belt. I do want it, and I want to keep it. I want it. It's going to be mine. Like I want it. And I'm going to take it. And I'm going to have it. But I'm not in no rush. I'm not stupid. Like I I want to take my time. I want to get the experience and the opportunities, and I just want to. Just one fight at a time. Take each guy out. Yes, maybe one or two fights. If the if everything's going good, I'll, I'll fight for the belt. But for now, I'm I'm not in no rush. Like I just wanna I just wanna just keep doing what I'm doing and growing my experience. And I wanna be like six, seven, and zero. And then yeah, maybe then yeah, take the belt. And obviously we're here tonight at Cage Warriors 104 yeah. in Cardiff, a massive yeah. show. What what are you most looking forward to? Which fight are you predicting is gonna be the fight tonight tonight on this um. uh, massive card? Well, I, I'm really looking forward to all one earlier and um, like, I love fights. I love I watch all, all the fights on card and like excellent. Like Mason Jones, I, I really rate him. He's an up and coming. He's like smashing everyone. He's electric. And he's got a wicked fight against Dolan and Desme. But um, auburn has been coming down. Like he stayed in the house. He slept when I was up in Brave because yeah. I was away for the week. He stayed in my room. Like oh, yeah, right. my, yeah, yeah. So like I, I like I, we just connect really well. Yeah. So I really want Auburn to win. But again, like I, me and Jack, good friends. Like I really want Jack to win and. Um, like he's got an excellent fight. That Scott Malone kid. Like I've been watching him for ages, and um, it's a it's a solid matchup. Like I wouldn't overlook Scott. Like if I was fighting Scott myself, I wouldn't overlook him at all. Yeah. But Jack Shaw doesn't look over overlook anyone. So I believe Jack does get it done. I believe Auburn get it done. I believe um, Mason get it done. I even Josh as well. I think Josh Reed's gonna um, smash it tonight as well. I think it's gonna be a good night for Welsh MMA. I really do believe that. Well, Aiden, congratulations again on your latest victory, and uh, hope Cheers. to see you soon. Thank you guys. Cheers, Cheers. buddy. That's awesome, boys. Thank you.